What's up, guys? It's me, Jesus, and welcome to the nearing end of our Pikmin 3 Deluxe playthrough. It's been a long run. It's been a very long run. Today, we're gonna start reading the whole entire Piklopedia of Pikmin 3 with each captain Alf, Brittany, Charlie, Almar, and Lou. And before I start, I'll go ahead and showcase. I've gotten all badges! Each and every one for each and every category. We've got Soul Rack Medium Post and. You saw this early. But, um, make sure you go ahead and check out my computer post. I post other stuff there. I'm just laying notes of updates and anything that happens. Or just anything I'm just doing behind the scenes. But I went ahead and just totally completed the whole entire badges. And now, everything is done. There's nothing more to do. Read it. The Picklepedia is our only thing to do. So let's just get started. Don't think it matters on um, which state file we do it on. Which surprisingly I found this out. Um, the Picklepedia saves during save files. So you don't have to always just recollect the features on one. But, here we go. We're just gonna go and read the features. Oh, uh, all 55 of them. And then we have the final ones that I didn't get here. Also, the, these two. Oh, man. I know I read these before. And some of these are going to be still the same. But it'll be great to just go back and reminisce through them. So we're going to be reading them even though they're like the same creature. And I know I've already, again, I've already read these like during just the main playthrough. They're still going to be reading them all. So let's begin with the female shear grub. Fall back. It takes no time at all for them to emerge from the hiding places on the ground. They want to do too much. They don't do too much dirt once they're surface. But you have to give them credit for being very efficient at wars. If you had a friend who started you every time they approach, always see they come out of nowhere and scare you. That's what this thing reminds me of. They don't mean any harm, but you have ten feet whenever they show up. The ability to hide on the ground burst up the surface when their song comes near. Then recruit to recover again, just as a fair. There were some fierce ambushes that they ever, you know, attacked. For an old girl could do, sort this creature of a mix of four eggs, repeating and generous handfuls of bitter sweets. Make it to Creasy and Gordon. The beast is more flavorful if caught and cooked with just after one of eggs. Alright, here goes the Almar voice. Now, I just gotta make sure that my Almar voice goes, does it sound like this? Oh no! It actually sounds like this. Because every time I do this, it always sounds like this. And I hate that. Oh, okay. Let's try to get this ready. Because I already know. Armor, oh, she has three pages. Armor has three pages of notes. Almost gonna be definitely the reason why this is gonna be the long these are gonna be long videos. Alright, here we go. Here we go, female. I guess that's the scientific name. Himegia Manbibosa. Man of Bar family. The males of this species purple and black. The creatures are tougher mouths, but the females are larger in the core and larger almost viscous exoskeleton. With the way of boards, these creatures are registered to the points where they have lost both legs and wings. They can seem crawling around the ground on their belief that they feed in the buffalo tracks for the colonies full of spot pigment. Was that good? I'm just going off the voice from Pikmin 3 now. If I would try, maybe, just, no, just let me know. You want to try the Omar on um, Pikmin 2 voice? Or the Pikmin 3 voice? Because I'm going to be honest, it's hard to get through Omar. It's easy for me to get to lose somehow, but Almar is hard. Despite its comeback form, it has a Britney sized appetite. You can avoid getting swarmed by drawing them out one by one to be dealt with. It's big enough to ride, and it only can tame one. Imagine swarming an alien world on top of a native fauna. Sure, beasts have to having to walk everywhere. They say to pick on someone your own size, and for these creatures, that's us. Someday I'll go to the big and bold as its adult relatives. Why does every, everything have to get meaner as it ages? Why can't they get cuter? For our voice of beast, Misty Atari Beast finally is stored in the heavy cream, bucket of hearts, and pitch of black pepper. Heat still into fucking hot. Mmm. Freaking creamy. 
Dwarf Bulborb, Parsaurus, Sedek, Seducili, Russus, Breadbug Family. I, I'm gonna be familiar with this. I'm, I have to prep up each episode of time. I have to prep up each episode of time. Like, I'm gonna be prepping up. Because I'm just not used to all my voice. <coughs> With all industry, I was the worst fighter. The good old boob boy. Grumpy knew research and indicates that creatures in front of memory. Breadbug family. Ghost Breadbug says it's a nail of Breadbug. It is good for attention to memory. I think a deputation of the boob was created in the and all the species to see if come come in. I don't know what that word is. So effective application of all the species uh, by prey as species are rare in the current of creatures and master of memory. That's still insane. Like, I need to take note that this, before it turns into the whole entire bread thing, I assume, turns to this creature. Like, how is that possible? Like, that's so cool. I want a very covered design that will wave through issues like a bright red warning coloration and a tendency to sleep in broad daylight. There's no way that far also on this thing will work, so you have to be creative. I'm thinking we should hit his bad car while it sleeps, or maybe target those thin looking eye socks. Um, actually, Alf, if you ever bother to try to use Swarm, Pikmin 1 will have to word you with you. Because barging through it actually works. I guess charging is this, but still. The white polka dots on his red is quite a look. Something about it's familiar, but where? Ah, right, it reminds me of the captain. Not the polka dots, I mean the way it's doing the nest and the sun. <laughs> oh, God. I, I don't know who I like more. Brittany or Louie. I don't know who I like more. Which is funny, because I'm pretty sure Brittany hates Louie. This red bruiser goes up the Pikmin like candy. The diner approaches to attack from behind while I'm still asleep. And it means to call us, but it would be saying for you if it could. Stole both ceilings and strike. Pokespussum is the best bit roasted, whole stuff in the warm slab of bacon. Based frequently to ensure maximum more support. Bulbarp, Oculus, Cagamil, Russus, Grub Dog Fam. <laughs> Why did I read that as bread bug? I just saw bug. Or I just saw something that looked like. I saw grub and read it as bug. I was gonna be astonished if I changed that. This world gorgeous is a familiar man of balls and crevices in much of the grub dog family, as well as the characters in bulging orange, as well as the most grub dogs, increases kinetic and cut fires half of its total length and girth. So I scale at all the men with white spots, these creatures are primarily nocturnal. To use the program post more creatures return to the nest, or if you classify as a boy bull bull. For researchers to classify the species as the basic bull bull. So species are very cool and are recently discovered, but according to this, they divide into two rival camps of how they handle their classifications. So we're racist now, okay. White spectrolids. There's a saying in a tiny design adjustment that can be a huge to say that some of this change somewhere elsewhere in the project. It makes me wonder what I affect presence here has to on the planet. If you think the wings like that, it will float away on the slightest breeze. Maybe it was really hard to stay where it is. If that's the case, it could have fooled me. It's a flying one, in both senses of the word. But even if it will stay still, I don't have a heart to unleash my steely fist on the poor thing. Uh, Charlie, you're, you're showing this to the wrong person. Because <laughs> if y'all know, then y'all know. Move the wings and go straight into the deep water. Cook it to a golden or to the throne room and start stinging the arms. Serve immediately. Ray Spectralist. Finistari Albon Barras Matas. For our bi family. This remote goes through the control of my brain, but it's still a wing part, it's a long time a hit a pair of goods are away. The sticks was own habitat for the most part, though it may find a way to reach the flower and escape a bull blast. It will soon return to his home. I like for the white variety of guys thrown at there, but something might be found carrying a pellet. Okay, so you know I'm glad all my action makes note of how we can see some types of spectral land on the bull board. Like, all my knows this stuff, and I love it. Medusa Sloker. The first one I just came across had rock and trapped inside it. I asked you to go for the small fruits, but it seemed to be eating them. There's no serious going on, digestion going on at least. Is this trying to make friends? The book of the Mopheus on top of the translucent membrane. The shocking look. 
especially with a puff bomb I said I sent it to a whole edge symbol. I couldn't see a dress pattern after this. I saw a bit of dig hit a cook by. Not that I'd be caught dead in one. This guy we bought whole paper hostage wearing its body. It's few mistakes that sucking up every last one of my little troops. The last of ours are much stronger I must thirsty here for revenge. You must turn the first soul before you start freezing to all of them with your friend. The garments were a source of criminal fun and proof of serving. But this is Sloker. Star mod, do you say? Man the 40. I'm, I'm bored of that family. Most of this boy is translucent and green and curious. Stood for the wind that pops up on his helicopters. The shirt will be below what it was the breast of men in The purpose of this behavior is unknown. I was examining its cut. Culture reveals no trace of life or glass of food on them. Like most autonomous structures, there's no tentacles or neck notches or a safety handle. Maybe you see to ride. Opening up a new transporting possibilities. <laughs> okay, I like it all might make me serious on his notes, but he still knows how to have fun. Scatter Chuck! It carries a heavy crystal on his back to draw enemies. I knew going going in that I probably need rock paper to break it. I worry that doing so would cause dangerous stars to explode outwards, but unfortunately, my imagination proves to be a deadlier than reality. A missed design opportunity, if you ask me. I'm on the street, and the best you could do is carry around some big crystals. A better idea would be carrying my stuff. If it could tame. Wait, would it throw my stuff all over, wouldn't it? Never mind. Funny thing is that, thanks to Pikmin and having so many different variants of his own enemies, I've actually made my own idea of a Scutter Chuck. Um, put it on screen right now, probably both the family enemies and then just the family Scud Chuck stuff. What if the, um, Scud Chuck could just throw fruit? I believe I call it a Snatcher Chuck. Cause they just take it when you have it. <laughs> and it just, YEET! <laughs> just imagine just tosses it somewhere. Uh, that'll be the most annoying thing. It'll be, it'll be Snitch Buck too. But somehow more annoying. They're like walking catapults. The way they host their crystals and launch them, I swear they are mere pebbles. A crafty advertising ain't worth them until the launches stones at each other. Or it sounds adversity like me. Of course, this. But real quite addictive for this reason. No special preparation needed. Necessary. Well, you see, Louie, I need that. Because I'm really eating a creature right now that probably when it's dead, it's still be twitching. So I don't want to eat it right now. I need to prepare it. Scatter Chuck, Hard De Desa What the frick? Hero Desiderate Crystal Crystal Storm. Hevo family. It's made of the strategy to watch the crystal appears on its back. Otherwise, it's completely defenseless. In most circumstances, it's a peaceful harbor whose diet constantly prime me of moss. Marine in danger. However, it was no time defending its territory, wrecking small rocks or hurling them as a threat. Or under a sure it has stayed a subwar of rocks with it. Which to defeat itself. It shares the tub tool with a close her crush by a water bell. So it could make use of the shell as they cast over each night. Crush black oh wait. Wait. Is the thing of hey Pikmin a crush black larva? The green one? Huh, I just need to make Let me look at something real quick. This is not called crush black larva, is it? No, it's just a crush black. Ooh, interesting. Huh, okay. Was that it? Hold on. Just making sure. Okay, yeah, that was it. Alright. Armored Maw Dad! First boss. It takes a small army of rock player and make a dent into this reinforced crystal. Show destroying all destroying the shells completely. It's it's slow going. It says it burns into the ground every time it comes down from the walls. It's terrible we didn't have tools that dance to the pieces of it. Is show into the armor of an extra strike. Whatever else is talking about when it digs to the ground, I don't know what he's talking about. Is that true or is that just for fun giggle? I'm like, oh yeah, this boss does this, but it just didn't. Hey, yeah, that that's what a species does though. Crystal over his body is one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen on this planet. How people would stare if I could be a space suit out of it. Then maybe I'll be staring because I be a an It'd be a translucent suit. I just got that joke. <laughs> yeah, that's mostly why people will be staring. 
I'm so proud of our crew for managing to take this beast down without me. It's especially impressive because I did it without my combat trainer, our Steely Fist. It's good to know I set such an example for them to live up to. Yeah, you live up to that. This is good fresh. The legs aren't twitching and pretty on. The girl, don't blunder. Alright, my dad. Tuber Clypium Rex. My dad family. The Rex is holding some whole stumps of the trees. The name is devoured for the hard shell covering his entire body. As it grows, the only his entire shell show by so much rock walls and trying to force over a new one. If the rock shows an appetite, it doesn't hesitate to eat anything as it sees. The causes of stone are often a surprise. Skinny leaf! I'm in love with this camouflage job. Looks like you're ordinarily far from a tree, and then wham! It starts to move, and it takes you by surprise. This thing is just, like... It's like one of those things where it's like, how did they come up with that, and why? But it's just so good. Like, it's so freaking good. Like, this thing is a literal leaf. It's really just a leaf, but it's so good. Like, I can still see a little bit of yellow under there, and I don't know what that is, but... It's Ah, Pikmin! Not only do the limbs look like leaves, his beautiful little eyes remind me of fruit. I see the point of all that camouflage when a star has a very single thing it go gets close to. It's totally harmless, but sometimes there's, no there's a reason to defeat one. When it happens, the good dude is to be merciful and lay out one solar strike on his back. Poor thing. Superb overcooking and juicy meat, and we for goodness to show that skin is for me new spinach. Skitterleaf, Russ, Sadu, Big, big Hands, Skitterleaf family. The Skitterleaf is rotating with the pond, the Skitterleaf says, wings and dropping in the water's ground. When the rest of the traits are ever passed, the Skitterleaf can fly the or skit across the surface of the water. The answer is such a vowel. Wing? Well, I guess that's just mess, metaphorical. The wings have since evolved as such a life like structure on its back, which serves to hide the Skitterleaf through it mercifully. Mimicry. It refers quite effective as paradise can see through this covered skies. Alright. Yellow Wadiwog. Wait. I'm just not realizing they're not called Wadiwog hops in this game. Wait, I know. Like, I've been calling it Wild Hops because I learned that the name was changed into that because apparently it was offensive. But, they're not, they're not actually named that in this game. So, what point are they called Wild Hops then? Or am I just going crazy? Or is that the white ones? Are those called Wild Hops? I, I don't know. I don't know. There are the fine signs of intelligence in this brute. It always faces its prey first, as it gauges distance, before jumping into the air for a stop. If you don't move while it hangs for a moment in the air, kid loses a lot of Pikmin. It's big, but not strong, as few as five Pikmin can weigh it down, so it can't jump. Rap can also have nothing to fear from it. Look at that thing. It's so bullet. I feel like that way too sometimes, when I can't stop chugging down juice. I have to lie down for a while after that, but this thing keeps jumping. I bet it gets worse cramps. I understand how it manages to hang in the air as height for its jumps, but I have to understand it. I just have to get out of the way and where hang tire helps a lot with that. Let that be a lesson. Don't stand around gawking at a creature's weird attack moves. Do something about it. You gonna let me fall down home for you won't soon forget. Yoy Wawog and Precarious Fun Frondum Dum at Imp Tuber Family. The directive is a specimen has surprised gold correlation with the greatest number of Galactic spots of any member of the Albertine family. This movie sees all lost and swimming and truffles and got the water and adoption of the grandson of the greatest jumping body. The Albertine is famous, of course, shells and shells are in. This is a cry to the jumping point of Scottish small creatures. See, my, my question is just like, why do these enemies do this? Like, there has been no signs of a purpose. Now, you could say, well, yeah, to get away from prey, which makes sense, but... Well, I guess this thing like a snitch bug. This isn't like a thing with a snitch bug, where 
They just, there's no actual reason for them to do it. Because they don't kill Pikmin. I was just like, hey, I got him. I'm going to throw him to the ground now because it's funny. That's what snitch books do. These guys, okay, I guess they just do it to defend themselves. Also, I got myself a drink here because I knew that these voices, specifically all my Louis, were going to probably die myself down. Okay. Keep moving. Oh! <laughs> Speaking of Super Stitch Bug, hi! <laughs> it's all well good to do what it does, which is to capture one and pick man, slam it into the ground. But why does it do that? For well, function, it isn't very good design in my book. I have to turn the tables and load them down with so many pick that are too heavy to fly. What goes, what goes around comes around. They're annoying, but I also feel a connection with these huge flying insects, just like me. They like to bury things in the ground, and just like me, they wander off forgetting about the seed until something else comes along to harvest it. I could go to my strategies and respect all these things, but eh. White butter, good businesses, not threats. Walking bird picking is relaxing activity to get me in time to consider how to tackle creatures that, critters that can do serious damage. Alright, Super Snitch Bug, Scarpanica Kesperans. Scar Scarnipian like, like these names, dude. I can't. <laughs> like these names are just. I feel like they for real just took names of real real life creatures and stacked them together. Like that's all they did. The scars were originally built on the ground. Spraying to pull the world of visual wings. This means the love and always telling that we used to be as mixed wings. Governors are attracted by a size of large groups of people and private friends and information will sleep down to seize them. However, these governors do not eat people, and they will drop in and seize people after a short time. This is very known, but what for the future of the research in this area? You know, I wish this was just the same text. Because thanks to this game, we now know snitch boys have gained the ability to also grab captains. So I guess it's just unknown for both of those right there. But I wish Armor had a little bit of notes on that too. Alright. Arctic Canna Cannon Larva. That's strange. It doesn't have. I guess it's just for making shorter, but. It's not uh, Arctic Cannon Beetle Larva. It's just Arctic Cannon Larva. I know I'm probably overthinking this, but with Pikmin, like, let's be honest, it probably isn't overthinking this, probably on purpose. Like, who knows how this can go with Armor's notes? Snowballs are an indigenously and non-lethal weapon. I'm a weapon design that affects keeps pressure away without overdoing it. Full marks. Well, that's one of the smallest spinning snowballs and sitting Pikmin rolling. I had a good time, so I walked right into a line of fire, wait my eyes to catch attention, and I went for the fire to start, but all I got was dizzy. They're more annoying than dangerous, but you want to avoid the pushback from the rolling snowballs. It's just a matter of landing scenes footwork. Now that you're a warmer exercise first, you wouldn't want to get a trial hearse, huh? Yeah. You're not funny. Pupe up the shoulder, sprinkle the tender meat with a dash of salt before scooping it up raw. For our first dessert, first regions over the snowballs. Arctic Cannon Larva. Grantress for Frostitum. Eat the pot family. Well, order members go with the pot family. It's true bacteria are specialized for much compounds for uh, all that moisture when you're sitting exposed for projectiles. Taking just a lot of cold temperatures to create its, its ice, and it's, which is formed by pressure into it, which is the ice and cold. But with the projectiles that we expand, they absorb the more emitted heat, forming the air to preserve the moisture and the air to freeze. Okay. That's, I actually for real thought that they needed to be, you know, in the snow to create snowballs. But no. See, so much un unnecessary stuff to know about this game. Whip Tongue Bullboard. I like this guy. It's weird, but it's just... It's cool because it is weird. Like, that's what makes it cool. It's just cool because it is weird. This ball has a surprising feature. I am impressed with the speed at which it employs this long, flexible tongue. Though I'm also dismayed at its unnerving wakefulness and the difficulties we seem to have sneaking past it. Not a fan of this one style. Too plain, too beige, and too big. Where's the good version of this guy? It's gotta have one, right? 
though maybe not after all. I don't have a little reason myself. That's that's so interesting. Because we're so used to um well actually that's very interesting. The bedroom's mimicry goes through for what we know, red, orange. I guess that's it. <laughs> I I guess that really is. It's not there's not a lot. Oh yeah, the hair. Slash snowy. Bull bears are different because those are actually the pets. I wonder what it was to do with it with lip tongues. The long tongue isn't just an sister organ, it's a deadly weapon. You just have to do like a pro. I tried to see what I could do to get my tongue to do that, but I kept biting it by accident. I was in the same place, too. I hate that. Put that tongue in dry to put all sorts of spicy dry rub in place. Roll over hard heat until the outside is perfectly crisp. Alright, Oculus, long it, long go linga, <laughs> lingua, that's great. Store of the garden is controlled as these control and rare species. It uses an extendable vicious tongue to capture your prey. You wear it over the mouth, it's recognizable by its tar tarpon snow. It works most of this as a white back. So it evolved with evolve this long tongue to snort prey drawn to a high blue wind of flowers. But the point is that no one first persons have been seen suggesting that a radically different biological branch. Now it's only recently been classified as part of the Grotto family. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Very interesting. Also, it's a shame. There is actually no notes about a dwarf lip tongue bull board. Interesting. Freaking love this so much. Freaking love Pikmin. Like, like, like. I, I'm so glad I got into the series to just love it so much. Cause I honestly don't expect to, to, to just enjoy it so much as I have already. This fur is so it's not, it's not only from the elements but also from attack. Sure, boy, their hair is a long process that requires you to dodge its crushing legs, but also a real way to get at the monster's normal core. I think I solved the problem at how it sees. One thing is there is out uh, that hair away, and for another, I don't see any eyes. The only this thing, this thing moves makes my ears hurt. But only slightly louder than the captain tromping all over the ship. But I like the tufts of the hair all over his legs. It's tough and comfy, and I'm into the shaggy style. Brittany loves the movie ring. Talk about a tough nut to crack. It's too big to, to go down quick. It looks on picking like bugs underfoot. And it's only least was guarded by a thickness of hair. You get at it ripping its hairs one by one, but just the idea of doing that makes my own hair hurt a little bit. Caution, do not eat. Thanks, Willie. Shiny long legs, set your Dura Nia Campion, rack our family. Their curved rules do special such as a really joint. One would think that there's a perception, but it's simple matter to cut their hairs out. Several horrors of variants have been shot at, most of the likely due to the original characteristics, rather than special or out of its age. The one set set docile among trees, but were sent to scare over trees from my footsteps. Footfalls. That makes sense now! Okay! So they don't just fall out of the sky, they actually just fall out of trees! That makes sense! Okay, I've been wondering, like, how does a long legs just fall out of the sky? But actually, you know what? Counter, counterpoint. How the frick does beetle long legs fall out of the sky? And I don't mean in the, um, Citadel of Spires. I mean in the perplexing pool. To my knowledge, there's no sign of trees anywhere. You still might not know a lot, but uh, that's just, no, probably speculation. I'm, I'm sure, like, that's just a secret. That BD Long Legs fight is just a secret and not meant to be, like, a real thing. But I don't know. Alright, Baldy Long Legs, hello. Did it lose his hair in a fight, or was it born bald? As rumors as tough as it is, it's also a little pathetic. I'm wearing a sweet look to the hair you want, which made me sweat just a little bit. They could be both to be here, though. Ooh, what is covered in wool? 
They say the best defense is a good offense, but getting rid of all of his hair to focus entirely on something wrong I might have been taking it too far. Still, I can always break a warrior while it didn't come in all the way. I was toasty the looks. Completely inedible. How do you put the that look tasty, Lily? I get that it looks like a whole tad great, but when you get to the green part, it doesn't look good. Body long legs. Set. Set. Dura. I keep on butchering this word. So, Dura Arachnia Cavitium. Arachnia family. Typically, this is a really sharp long list of losses here. This is the hair of gold bug. This is considered a simple species. I call it on its own name. I still want to the beauty of the works. Well, this is extract lots from the exoskeleton and does lots because of the uniqueness of the pattern. The options of lots also lots small and such as climbing as well as well slipping. I still want to always force the horizontal, but the rest of the trees have got to destroy the significance of the difference. Okay, fair. Like, like, I don't know, like, there's really no difference besides it really just being bald and be able to grow ha half hair. And also that, you know, it splits horizontally instead of vertically. But, but still again, it's it's a long legs. It is a long legs. That shows a hard way to come Whoops. Where it come. So the front of charge is no good. You're liable to get skewered in a needle anyway. Turn on pigments so they land on the soft unprotected hand parts instead. Talk about a design oversight. Ever seen a huge face buried in the ground? I have now. At first I was wondering what the rest of my might be. Would we find a buried fist? Our buried knee, our buried belly button, as good as bad thing that we never will. This greenish blue soldier came prepared with a solid offense and defense. There's not much playing in the rear, but it doesn't matter if you never play to show the enemy your back. I salute his courage. Okay, and also I actually need to read all my loose notes of this. I was, I don't think I did before, because I actually thought this was the same enemy as Pikmin Two, but it's not. The enemy in Pikmin Two. Has, I don't remember the name, but the shell is actually on his back, not in the front. Well, this enemy is the queer opposite right here. So I wonder, probably, they have any kind of connection with all Mars, you know, notes. To get a good kind of with this sort of flavor, we want to show our meat on both sides. Took a double pesto. That's my show boys, Reversa. Bro. There! Right there! I know, it's, it's something burning! It, it, okay, it is related to the burning. it. I know it's something burning. it. And pick them too. But, there we go! They are related in some way. What is the understanding of where their shells are their bellies? But this is what shells focus is more for hope it. It's really sort of overtired into a uselessness, so it's still the burrows we need to burn and push out. Only be fishing to show me what crosses and drain the body's woods. Why would those wives remain on the ground for years or even decades in some cases? Interesting. I had no idea it actually had wings. Wait, hold on. We're, okay, well, I guess we're just gonna not show the next version of this just, of just might. But I actually didn't know it still had wings, so it just chooses not to fly since so it's just too weak. Okay. Boss plant. I've never seen a substance that completely dis dissipated under the bright light before. Is it just because the newborn is not yet fully formed? The front legs and wings are still a work in progress, but they make up for that with numbers. If you ever see something in the dark cave that looks like an egg, my advice is to destroy it while you still can. You're so cute when you're young. How can you say no to those little trippy noises and big, wet eyes? Say they grow to something so awful. It makes me wonder what the captain was like when he was young. Damn. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like, I just, like, the, these three chapters just give no cracks about, like, if they're gonna be truthful about each other or not. Like, they just don't care. This timid little guy was first wild creature I managed to put in. I can't blame him for being scared, though. I freaked out when I saw those glowing mushrooms. Wait, no, forget that. How do you raise stuff on here? <laughs> Freaking, oh my god, how much genocide did I do? I've killed 157 of these things. I know there's a lot of them up here, but God dang! Perfectly beautiful for a hot pot night. All the both will know is looking for the best results. Flashback. Tech perverse Cheromies. I adopt Detia family. 
This info stream is the Volham and Force Black, and your other villain wins connect to your blood. It is Steel Furious from Birds of the World, where either of all white for the common gold cat, or white below calls it to vaporize. The cover of Crow's Crystal is too solid to the adult world's weight, which is camouflage and overwhelming to his fragile infant. One may cause all doses and exercise accounts. The only look does occur to this reaction. Or because it's a light, is a door is a wrong wavelength. I think it's because it's light from mushroom and you're using an actual powered light, Omar. Unless it's not an actual power lamp, lamp slash light, so I'm, I lost it there. Alright. Got a pause bet pod. I have so many questions. Where does it get resources that are manufactured all the tiny models? How does the light cause it to stop working? I've heard of solar power ma machines, but this one seems to be solar powerless. Try to break air and the wall starts to come screeching right, right for you. As ugly as and mean as it is, it does care about its little ones, so you can't call it all bad. The inside of these things is that they never stop pumping out nasty critters. But up is that you stay next to them long enough, you get some good karma training. I think you want a home and get sparing partners, but it stopped working as soon as the light hits them. You can swoop with his beast air straight from the shell, with a sweet and voice structure and then roll into your mouth. What's that sack? Tech Pervus Teramius are I think this is that just the exact same? Wait, am, am I dumb? Yeah, okay, no, that is literally the exact same. The the verb of his force extras are thrown are fixed to the surfaces around the layer. If this one roughly fly baby force while stopping when enough furnace are in the air to trigger its automatic response. This could start a population that's the uh full fast and any cave getting still taking the horrible, which is important given the women supply food available in the habitat. Alright, last one for the day. Vehemoth Tossblat. It uses a powerful suction me mechanism to vacuum up its prey. What interests me is how it's nearly invisible in the dark. If I could Rucker replicated the effect and could be a huge stuff system on a ship. I also love to figure out how the captain managed to f survive inside this creature for so long without food or water. But that's more of a biological problem, not on my not my field. It looks mean, but it does but it's not so tough in the light. Why do you think it moves so slowly? Did it get indecision from trying to eat the captain? This is the thing that swallowed me. It may play dirty, but I respect its willingness to use any trick in the book to win. I appreciate your rematch any time. It's more comfy to stomach than I expected. But I got my team pulled me out when they did. I was in a round of juice when I get back to Kopai. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. What you bring a fire horse? Why a rugged brush and a rip? We won't win. And a frog beat out. Time for an argument. Surf with the women legs. Check. Okay, I think I think these are literally all exact. Okay, they're all exact same thing. I don't need to try to read the scientific name. That's, that's sweet. It is supposed to go to dark places due to extreme positivity. The structure of the scarlet on its own skin can absorb faint light sources to turn completely transparent. Its wings expand to cover in more toxic gold to bear with in small insects, but until it can hold the proper vortex. Other creatures that have evolved darkness have prostate oils and abnormal, but it's not only not the case here. For this, however, shares typically only venture out at night for other cave dwellers. It would be very cool to see this thing just at night time. <laughs> just, just like when you go into space and you can just see a posh plant in the background. Because it's got to turn night. That would be cool. But there we go. We got through not a lot. Oh, God. That, that wasn't a lot. But next time, we'll go ahead and get you more of these. Uh, let me know how the armor voice is and if you want me to go ahead and try to make any kind of changes to it. But with that said and done, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody!